one pan, 15 minutes, and then you got pineapple fried rice. We're gonna start by cutting up our fresh pineapple. Of course, if you don't have fresh pineapple, you can always use canned, that's even faster. But I'm just gonna cut this in half, cut it through, and because I'm gonna be using one of the sides as our bowl, we're gonna cut through the leaves and make it look really pretty. Just make sure you're using a really sharp knife so it cuts through like butter. All right, so now to prep the pineapple, I'm just gonna score it with a paring knife Okay, so I'm just taking my paring knife and scoring it down deep enough. And don't worry if you're cutting through the tough part, like there's a core right here in the middle. Just cut through it. We're gonna use it all. No waste here. Okay, and then to help us scoop it out easily, I'm gonna make the smaller chunks right in the bowl. You just wanna cut it into maybe half inch pieces. So for me, this pineapple means I cut it into three, maybe three and a half. <laughs> lines down the middle. Then with my spoon, I'm just gonna scoop them out. And see if you get really big long chunks like this, just cut it in half so that they're all evenly pieced. And then once you get to the end of the bowl, just scoop it out. We could either use this or save it for a smoothie or I don't know, just eat it. Mmm. Quality control, it's so sweet. Okay, we're gonna save this for later. Okay, and now the bell pepper. So we just need half of the bell pepper, and then I'll just dice it into small pieces. This in a bowl. A stalk of green onion. This is gonna be a really colorful dish that's gonna make you so happy to eat. And now for the protein part. You can choose to use whichever protein you like. I've seen restaurants make it with shrimp. I've seen them make it with chicken. I've also seen them make it with tofu or just no protein at all. But since I have both of these already here to show you, I'm gonna do chicken and shrimp. We're fancy today. Um, but definitely, however you wanna prepare yours, go for it, because this is very, very versatile. I have one chicken thigh here that I'm just gonna cut into small chunks. And then for the shrimp, I typically use frozen shrimp, but I need to devein it, and since this is jumbo size, I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces. Or maybe I'm just gonna devein it. And you definitely wanna devein the shrimp because this is considered shrimp discharge. It's not good. <sighs> Prepping took five, maybe seven minutes max. We're ready to cook this up. All right, so here I have my wok. I'm gonna get it nice and hot and then drizzle a little bit of oil in there. And then once the oil's hot, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of the red curry paste, let it kind of meld with the oil, and then we add our chicken. Saute it until it's thoroughly cooked. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're gonna add our shrimp, cook that for another minute. And then we're gonna add our pineapple, our garlic, red bell pepper, and green onions. Saute everything until it's nice and fragrant, about like two minutes because the heat is cranked up pretty high. It'll cook really quickly, except you wanna retain any of the crunchiness from that. And then for the rice, I am using day old rice here, straight from the fridge, it's nice and cold. That's how I like to cook my fried rice break it up a little bit, and then we season it with some fish sauce and soy sauce. Mix everything together. Oh, and then I forgot to toss in my cashews. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. The pineapple caramelized, so just that like sweet, sugary, caramelly smell with the savory curry paste and everything in here is so good. But now we're gonna plate it into our sustainable pineapple bowl. And then for presentation, I always wanna make sure there's like large chunks of pineapple, shrimp on top, just cause it looks really beautiful for presentation. I've got my side of chili garlic sauce to spice it up. And then I also like to garnish it with some cilantro, get a little green in there. It's an art, making it look perfectly imperfect. But this, even though it came together so quickly for your weeknight meal, it's good enough for presentation for a dinner party. Like, 
people would be so impressed but this you know you typically only see it at a restaurant but you guys made it at home so be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious and easy recipes that you can make at home let's give this a try Oh, that was really good.